Okay, see so you guys. It is currently around 9.30. I woke up around 7.30. I'm just typically not super hungry right when I wake up and I'm going to train full body. So I'm still not super hungry. I want to have energy for my session and I feel like I typically feel pretty good lately off eating something a bit lighter before my training session. So I'm having dates which are so good before a workout. They are a fast digesting carb, you guys. So these are amazing for pre-workout. I'm also having a little bit of fats. Typically, I would put like a salted or like two salted macadamia nuts in these. I don't have any. So I do have salted pistachios, which I'm going to stick in here. So it's like a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. You guys, I know this sounds weird, but I've been really enjoying it. They may be a superfood. I honestly am not a hundred percent sure but i just always feel so light and like so good after eating them so this is one part of my breakfast and then i'll show you guys what i'm having for my protein source and then typically you guys if i'm having some something on the higher carb side you guys carbs get broken down into glycogen and it turns into sugar i typically like pairing my simple carbs with a fat just to kind of like balance things out i feel like if i were to just eat the date i feel like my blood sugar spikes and i kind of feel like a little bit weak so having a little bit of fats Mind you, I'm not a nutritionist, not a doctor. This is just personally what I feel, what I sense, and what I enjoy doing. So yeah, I typically like pairing my like simple carbs with a fat. And like I mentioned, you guys, I'm honestly not that hungry. So I'm not having a super heavy breakfast. I'm having also a protein shake. And then with creatine, I mean, this honestly would have taken me like less than two minutes to make. So cheers, you guys. This is the beginning of this video. I will go into more detail about just, you know, more tips and tricks that I can give you that I've learned along my journey that I hope can help you guys. Mind you, I'm no professional, but I really am passionate about this and it's something that I can't wait to continue learning and diving into. So I'm on my way to the gym, you guys. Yeah, my pre-workout, I did a little half scoop. I feel like it looks very potent because there's not that much water, but you guys, oh my gosh. So I just, this kind of goes into the video, like the whole hormone side of things. And I'm paying attention to the road, you guys, but I'm just holding my tripod. It's like literally in my cup holder and I like extended it. But you have your menstrual phase and that's like once you start your period, that's day one of your cycle. And then that'll last anywhere from my typically last like four days or so, but it can last up to like seven. And then you go through your follicular phase, which typically lasts, I wanna say like anywhere up to like a week or so. I'm not sure like the exact days, I'll, um, I'll put them on the screen for you guys. So that's like the first half of your cycle. And then the second half of your cycle, you have your ovulation and then you have your luteal phase. And I know this is very common and very natural because towards the end of your cycle, your hormones are, like once you're in your menstruation, like your hormones are like plummeting. So I typically am like very tired and I feel like I tend to get in my head and kind of like worried that my energy like isn't gonna come back. Or like I feel like I'm like falling back into like not the best mindset or like not the best habits, but it's really just my body. Like I feel like I'm naturally like cocooning and that's completely normal and natural, but I feel like over the weekend I was on my period and I don't know, I just was getting in my head about things, but I'm currently in my follicular phase and I feel honestly so much better. I feel a lot more clear headed. I have more natural energy. You guys saw this morning, I was motherfucking wired. That's why I'm only having half a scoop of pre-workout. I honestly could get away with none. I just, I feel like it's kind of like a routine thing. Like I just like sipping on it on the way to the gym. It's just like, it does something to me, okay? I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that made sense. Tell me that you model if you ain't been involved.
finished product you guys i had this yesterday and it was so freaking good you guys i just finished up my full body workout so this is what i'm having post workout a cup of rice about five ounces i want to say of 93 7 grass fed grass finished beef garbanzo beans for fiber sauerkraut for gut health which ties into literally everything i feel like so many of like root problems and like inflammation and even like mental health things are tied to your gut so providing my body with probiotics and foods that are loaded with nutrients has been so 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 just fun for me but also just makes me feel like healthy and like i'm actually nourishing my body i'm having a little bit of sprouts for a little bit of greens i don't have any typically like a arugula with this would be freaking amazing and a little bit of the coconut cult yogurt which we got from our girl mariana inspired by this is just honestly like one of my favorite meals i had it yesterday i'm having it again today the so reason good. why i like the primal kitchen is because the ingredients are honestly so good i really have been avoiding a lot of things with like canola oil sunflower oil just because those are so inflammatory and i genuinely when they feel a difference when I do like eat products with that stuff in it. Sometimes I'll have like a protein shake and I'll have like some sort of oil in it if I'm just like running into like say like a 7-Eleven or something. But I really try to avoid those as of recently. I'm just like a lot more like aware and I pay attention to the labels on like sauces and packaged things. You guys, I just showered, obviously. It's only been like 30 minutes since I last ate. I'm actually heading to Kayleen's house. I have another meeting. I think I'll have time to come back home between now and class. I start class at five, but I typically leave my house at like 4.30 to 4.40. And I have a few hours, so I hope I have time to stop by home before class. If not, I'll have to grab something on the go, which is okay. That meal really filled me up though, which is obviously what I want. I want something that's gonna hold me over for a few hours. I wanted to show you guys that this is the book that I have been reading in regards to hormonal health and just like gathering more insight and information about our female cycle. This book goes into such detail but is also so easy to understand. It is just so good. I honestly love, love, love this book. In my last like Q&A, this is one of the books that I mentioned at the end that I didn't have on me. I just keep it in my car so I can just kind of flip it open if I'm, I don't know, getting gas or like waiting for somebody or I like bring it to class with me sometimes I open it in class and just go through it it also gives you a breakdown of what foods to eat during like certain phases of your cycle which I think is really interesting I learned how to like seed cycle from this book and it just has so much freaking valuable information you guys it is currently for I want to say like 4 10 4 15 and I got done with everything a little bit earlier than I thought, so I had time to come home, which I'm so happy about. And I'm heating up our meals by Cass, you guys. We get meal prep from our friend. She makes everything herself in like her, like a private kitchen here locally. So here I have like Mexican pasta bake. Are you literally kidding me, you guys? This is like a dream. I'm actually really hungry. Like I feel like my metabolism is just like working right now. This whole thing, she puts the macros on here too, which is just awesome it is 458 calories 13 fat 48 carbs 44 protein i typically don't like heating this up in a plastic container so i'll put it in here and then heat it up in the microwave but so good there's black beans ground turkey corn the pasta i think she uses a protein panini pasta which is great i love that for me so much after this i'm heading off to class i don't think i'm gonna bring anything with me i might bring like a couple cuties or something but i've been enjoying kind of having an actual like meal or like smaller meal before bed even though ideally i would like to eat a few hours before bed but i just get home so late that i'm like it's fine like if i'm hungry before bed then i'm gonna eat a little bit like are you serious you guys look how good this looks i don't do this every meal but i have been trying to be a little bit more intentional i hope you guys can hear me okay intentional like when i'm eating or before i'm 
gonna eat my meal you guys when you're constantly like on the go i feel like your body's just kind of like in a heightened stress state and like just sitting i feel like i should be taking like 10 deep breaths but even five just like even after one like you seriously i feel like feel like a little bit more relaxed and this will just help with digestion and also absorption of nutrients just a little tip and then you guys just before i head out the door i'm having some greens because i honestly haven't had that many veggies today i really don't have like anything in the fridge i already had my creatine so this just helps me reach my micronutrients that i don't typically get in my daily diet and these are loaded with six different mushroom extracts which is literally like one of mother nature's most powerful antioxidants so i like to think it helps me not get sick you guys, I just got home from class. It's about 10.30. I just changed into my cozies. I washed my face actually at school. So here we are, but I am hungry. Like I'm hungry right now. I just walked in the house and I had purely Elizabeth's granola. This stuff, she just slaps, okay? We are gonna make dinner. This is my last meal of the day let's get into it okay i'm being real with you guys i'm having another meal prep you guys this one is the creamy lemon dill salmon and this just sounds amazing right now and i honestly like i don't really want to make something right now i was gonna do like a tuna bowl with like rice i don't even have avocado so i don't know like what fats i would have done cat is calm with rosie this is gonna be so cute The blog. Hello, Blogger. Hello. Have you already twerked for them? No, not yet. <laughs> Hang on, activate the roof chakra. <laughs> I had to roll my pants. I had to roll my dickies. Because she's getting sticky licky. A sticky licky. I miss being on YouTube. I know, like this is fun, fun. Like, for casual. some reason I just overthink it. Okay, you guys, I'm doing a little squeeze of lemon. Just what it came with. No, dude. Okay, really? I needed one little bite. That's actually annoying because I'm so hungry. Okay, there's already dill on here. Okay, actually, okay, this is, okay, you guys, I don't know if this, is this too all over the place? I like I was trying to be like organized and like have a simple food vlog. It still can be like that. Yeah, it is still like that, right? This is a just nice surprise. Okay, I know salmon with cat, like, come on, like disgusting kind of, but I just want this on my potatoes. Disgusting. Here is the last meal of the day, okay? Let me say a thank you to say, okay? Truly though, freaking love this brand and I'm so happy and thankful that they sent us some goody stuff. The dough with the salmon is like, really good. Rosie, no, down. I think this is why she doesn't listen is because I need to be more serious when I'm telling her no. Okay, you guys, lastly and leastly, I am going to have my magnesium. This is like a, just a sleeping powder. It has magnesium, L-theanine, and then GABA. Mother's Sprouts Whole Foods, maybe like Vons or Safeway. I do one teaspoon. Kat was doing two tablespoons oh of God. this on like, accident, you guys. You think that's why? Yeah, I was doing two tablespoons. Too much. I mean, maybe. So I'm going to have this. I actually forgot to take my supplements today, but I'll not have to take them tomorrow. So I'm also having my Omega before bed as well. I take one of these. I double up on the dosage. So I take, why did this just get hello? I take one of these in the morning and then one at night. This has omega-3s, EPAs, DHAs, omegas, DPA. I don't know like the breakdown of everything. I just bought this from my naturopath. I feel that it's a trusted brand. You guys, I think I'm closing out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. I hope that it gave you just kind of like a little bit of insight on the meals that I'm currently eating that I'm super enjoying and can give you guys a little bit of just inspiration. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be making more videos like this and thank you for tuning in. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.